Assalamu alaikum. Let's stand for Eid Salat. There's two raka'ahs. Now, typically, people, because of once Imam Muhammad said that you do five, then seven, in many of our masajid, you'll see them do five, then seven. But I read a transcript myself where Imam Muhammad corrected that. He, he said to do seven, then five. Now, people will argue with that, but I read it with my own eyes, inshallah. And so that's so we'll do seven and then five. Seven in the first, five in the second, inshallah. And then the khutbah will be after the prayer. So if y'all can move up just a little bit, make the line. Allahu Akbar 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 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Ad-Din Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Al-Sirat Al-Mustaqim سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Alam nashrah laka sadrak Wa wada'na anka wizrak Al-lazhi anqada zahrak Wa rafa'na laka zikrak Fa inna ma'al usri yusra Inna ma'al usri yusra فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَانْصَبْ وَإِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرْغَبْ Allahu Akbar سَمِعَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ حَمِدَهُ Allahu Akbar 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 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والتين والزيتون وطور سنين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي ألف بالإسلام بين قلوب المؤمنين وأوجب اتحاد وهرم تفرقا في كتابه المبين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فيا عباد الله أسكم ونفس أولا بتقوى الله تعالى وتعاته قال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم و و وإذ ابتلى إبراهيم ربه بكلمات فأتمهن قال إني جاعلوك للناس إمام قال ومن ذرياتي قال لا ينال أحد الظالمين Our praises do to Allah who has united the hearts of the believers with al-Islam he has put affection in between the hearts of the believers and he has obligated us to remain united and he has forbidden that we become separated in his book which is most high we witness that none deserves worship except Allah 
who's one alone, having no partners, no associates. There is nothing like or comparable to him. And we witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's servant and his messenger. And what follows of that salutation, I advise you as well as I advise myself to first fear Allah and thereafter be obedient to him. Eid Sa'id Mubarak, have a happy, blessed Eid. <clears throat> Yesterday was Arafah. And rituals, as our teacher, Imam Warathadim Muhammad, may Allah forgive him his sins and give him the paradise. As he taught us, rituals preserve knowledge. That they preserve knowledge. That's the functions that rituals serve. And Eid al-Adha is directly connected with the Hajj and the steps of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. So Adaha, the, the Eid comes after Arafah. It comes the day after Arafah. It's not a disjointed um, holiday. It's not a regional holiday. Eid is for the whole Ummah. Eid al Adaha is for the whole Ummah. For the whole Ummah of Muhammad as Hajj is for the whole Ummah of Muhammad. You don't have Hajj in Mexico, Hajj in Germany, Hajj in Japan, Hajj in Africa. No, you have one Hajj. And everyone does Hajj at the same time. That's a message to you and I about unity. It's a message about the, a time for unity for the Ummah. And, and Eid al-Adha is not separate from Hajj. Eid al-Adha comes after the day of Arafah. That's how it was established by our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the sacrifice is connected with the journey of Abraham. And yesterday was Arafah. Two million people descended on Arafah, the ninth day. And you know, there's a lot of discussion on Arafah. There's a lot of conversation on Arafah. And Imam Muhammad, when discussing with us the significance of Arafah, he said the leaders from all around the world are on Arafah and they're discussing the problems of the world and the problems that they're facing in their own unique circumstances. And they're sharing knowledge they're sharing information. They're sharing things from their own set of experiences that someone else can take back and use to benefit their situation. So I, someone asked me on the way in, is this the ninth day or the tenth day? I'm not making my statements to, to criticize anyone. I'm not making my statements to call anyone wrong. I'm making my statements to explain why we did it today. Everyone is free to make their own decision. I'm sh the logic that we're following is a consistent logic. And that logic is that Adaha is connected with the Hajj and it comes after the day of Arafah. Now, the ayah that we recited today comes from Baqarah where Allah says, and remember, and remember 